How's it going? We're back. We're playing ADS today. Um, we got DBD and Stardew later. We're finally back to our normal schedule, 12 to 4. But, yeah, let's just, um, let's just get into job. Um, we're only scheduled for about an hour for ATS today, so I don't think maybe a couple shorter runs or maybe just like one long run. Um, let's do this one. I think we're gonna do a, a good few short ones. I need some practice with uh, parking, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. I think ATS is actually the last thing that we've played on stream, uh, besides Minecraft yesterday. <laughs> I was just looking at my uploads, which all of my VOD uploads are actually live, except for the last ATS one, because it's still HD processing for some reason. It's been, <laughs> it's been going since Saturday, and it's only an hour long, but it's still HD processing. Hopefully that'll be done today, so I can finish getting that posted, and then, um... Yeah. This is the last week before my school starts. Fun fact, I just um, put in my graduation application. Because I'm graduating in the spring. So it's actually super exciting. I submitted it. Um, I think my confirmation email was <laughs> my advisor saying he's going to look over it. Um, see if there's anything I should change in my schedule. Um, but I think I should be good, because I am pretty good about talking to my advisors about if classes make sense. I'm also independent when it comes to that, so, like, I'm good with figuring out, like, making sure I have prereqs for a course, and if I don't know, then I'll ask, and, you know, that kind of thing. <gasps> Bruh! Well, why didn't you freaking go? There's not a car in front of you. You were going faster than that. Red light! I was already in the freaking intersection! Oh my gosh, this is not a good start to today. I was just trying to say. So, yeah, chat, if you didn't hear, um, and you've been watching me, you know that I've been studying for, like, my- to try to test out of biology. Unfortunately, I did not pass that. Um... I didn't pass that test, but that's okay. I was really upset about it at first, but, um, it's okay. It's not like it puts me behind or anything, so. Oh, it's right here. It doesn't put me behind. It was just a little extra credit hours that I didn't have to worry about. Um, but it's okay. I'm over it now. I really, <laughs> the reason I really didn't want to take biology is because I'm so done with, like, labs i guess like i'm so done with college weed out labs and that kind of thing but i will get through it hopefully because of all the studying i did and i know s m most of the knowledge of the class now already because i've pretty much taken it <laughs> i just taught myself um it's gonna be uh Hopefully a pretty simple class, um, even with the labs and stuff. I'm just hoping it becomes, uh, I'm hoping that the, having that class instead of another one will, like, I'm hoping it doesn't become too much, because I know some of the other classes I'm taking are probably, well, not probably, I know that they're going to be more difficult, um, so, unfortunately, I'll have to, like, take extra time out of, <laughs> you know, possible time for me to do extra studying for other classes just so I could do this one. 
Um, but it's okay. Everything will be fine. This was my schedule projection anyways. If I wouldn't have known, I could try to test out of biology. So it's like not terrible. Like this is what my initial schedule was going to be anyways. So So I'm I'm chilling. I've come to terms with it. I was upset. You know, obviously after it happened because I didn't pass, so I was upset about it, but but it's okay. Apparently, my sister was telling me that um, she also tried to get credit by exam for a lot of class and she didn't pass them either, but it did her fine. But I think um, I could really use the, like it's a four credit hour class and if it is as easy as I'm hoping it will be because I already have a lot of knowledge for it, I that'll be a four credit hour A going into my GPA, which it's very helpful. My GPA is not bad, but it could be better. It needs to be better. I want it to be better. So I'm going to work really hard at it, but you know, chemical engineering isn't easy. So. There's a reason that, you know, C is average. Unfortunately, a C is a 2.0 on a 4.0 scale. You can be doing average in a class and you'll have a 2.0 GPA. Which is bad. <laughs> like when you think of a GPA, anything with a 3.0 or higher is great. Like that's good. That's where, you know, you should be. So it sucks that like C is average. Which is what a lot of cl classes base it around, like the bell curve, is uh, based around that, and it just sucks that a C is a 2.0 on a 4.0 scale. They always say, like, C's get degrees, which is like thinking that you're the bottom of the barrel. And now, you know, actually getting classes with C's, I, that's not even me doing bad. Like, a C is the average of the class. Like, the majority of the class gets a C. Some teachers do bump it up to, like, the average is a B- minus or whatever, but it's like... C is average, so like being like C's get degrees, you're you're just a student at that point, you know? You're an average student. Which is okay. <laughs> no, but hopefully I'll have a job after I graduate, but like if I have to do an internship or something, the better my like internship in the summer and then actually get a job in the fall, then it would be better for me to um you know, have the highest GPA I can, I guess, so. Which I'm not worried about, really. I'm not worried about it, because I get B's and C's and some A's, and I feel like I do pretty well in class. I mean, I've made it this far. I've made it three years. I have yet to fail a class. I hope to not fail a class. I've been doing school since I was, what, like, five? <laughs> and now I'm 21. It's weird to think, though, like, like, I got my planner, and the first thing I wrote in it was, like, this is the planner that you're graduating with. Like, there is no buy a planner for the school year next year. Like, I'll probably get a planner for work and stuff, but not, like, with school stuff and it's like this is the planner you're graduating with this is only a year-long planner you're graduating with this planner it was also weird when it was my birthday um and i turned 21 because it was like 
this is the age that you graduate with. Like, literally a year from now, when you're 22, you will be done with college. Like, <laughs> and graduated. Which is so weird to think about that. Like, I've been doing school my entire life. <laughs> I think it's going to be weird having a job. I've never had a job in the school year before. Um, but I have been working every summer, besides this summer, but I'd consider, consider stream working, just not at, at an amazing pay. Um, <laughs> but it's like, uh, I've had a job every summer since I was in eighth grade. So, I'm used to working in the summer. That's normal for me to do. But I really think, like, working in the fall and spring with, the, like, a salary job is going to be weird. Like, I've never driven to work in snow, I guess. I've driven in snow, obviously. <laughs> but, like, it's always been, like, to school or to the store or something. I've never had to, like, go to work while it was snowing. It's just weird to think about that. Yeah, I hope everyone's been having a good day. I have been having a pretty good morning. I woke up about 9.15. I had to check some emails for school. Then I got up, went downstairs. We had a bonfire last night with our friends. Um, but we didn't get home until, I think, probably almost 1.30, maybe even 2 in the morning. So, <laughs> Doug and I were like, I am not taking a shower right now. We're exhausted. So, when we woke up, I took a shower. Um, and then Doug was took a shower. And then we made some food. I had some soup. I made some iced coffee today, which is just my normal coffee, but with ice. What's happening? <laughs> but, yeah, um, I started to get a headache, though. Like, I have a little bit of a headache right now, but I did, um... I did take meds a little bit ago, and caffeine helps with headaches, because it, like, the way the caffeine works is it kind of, like, shrinks your blood vessels, I guess, um, to get it, like, flowing faster, which is why it wakes you up, but it, um, uh, since it shrinks your blood vessels, all of, like, the pressure that's in your head when you have a headache... Uh, it actually helps that because it can shrink it as well. It shrinks the blood vessels up there that are swelling and making your head hurt. Which makes sense. You know, it didn't make sense because it's like, oh, but caffeine gets your, gets your blood pumping. But you never actually thought about how it gets your blood pumping. <laughs> like, you might think, like, caffeine just... Makes your blood pump faster, but no, it actually, it literally just, uh, shrinks your, shrinks your, uh, vessels a little bit, which automatically makes it pump faster. So then it helps your heads, your headaches. I think the best thing... Apparently, my sister, she's an RN, um, she, uh, said that the best thing you can do for a headache is, I think, take 500 milligrams of acetaminophen, 400 milligrams ibuprofen at the same time, and then drink something with caffeine. Either that be, like, an energy drink with caffeine, like, a Red Bull, uh, or, I don't know if Red Bull actually has caffeine. Any drink with caffeine in it, including coffee, including the energy drinks that have caffeine, that's what makes them energy drinks. Um, anything like that. But, yeah.
She said, I'm pretty sure that's what she said was the uh, best thing that you can do for uh, headaches. It'll make them go away within like a half hour at most. Go away completely, even if it's really bad. But sometimes it does not work on me. So I'm a little weird though, you know? I get random headaches. Like this is a temple headache right now and it's actually getting worse which I think is funny considering that I've both drank coffee and <laughs> and I've eaten so it's not because I haven't eaten and I took 500 milligrams of cinnamon I didn't do both I didn't take also the ibuprofen but this uh this um cinnamon bottle expires soon <laughs> so I'm trying to not trying to use it but uh we also we have ibuprofen too but that expires much later so if i need medication like if i have a headache or i'm in pain or anything like that i'm gonna try to use this one i think it expires in like december or something where's the date yeah november it expires november this year so it's like And there's a lot left. <laughs> We're probably not going to go through all that by the time it expires. But can at least use it while it's okay. And I think it's technically okay after the expiration date. But, like, if anything weird happens with it, <laughs> the company is no longer liable for any issues you may have because it was past the expiration date. I think that's what a lot of expiration dates are for, by the way. <laughs> as funny as it is. Yes, your food usually goes bad around that date. Like, if it's food with an expiration date, like your milk. But it's also, like... It's also the company being, like... Um... <laughs> where if something weird happens because you decided to take this really, really long after the expiration date we're no longer liable because we gave you a date that you shouldn't use it anymore <laughs> just in case <laughs> i still can't believe like tuition is due tomorrow oh something about tuition so i've been kind of worried about money lately um because I didn't have a job this summer, so I didn't really, I don't really have an income. And any of the sponsorships I've done this summer, like, the payment hasn't come in yet. Um, it comes in in, like, the first week of September or something like that. But it, uh... But updating my schedule, like, dropping my whatever classes I needed to because I didn't pass bio, so I have to take it, um any of that and I had to change my schedule I think I'm projecting around six grand or so in refunds which is amazing because I didn't work this summer and that gives me a little bit of buffer and if I if I had to pay tuition and I didn't work this summer I don't think <laughs> I'd really have to get loans out because I only have enough money like in my current my bank account right now I only have enough money for like I think one month's of rent that's it <laughs> so like it's uh but it's okay because tuition is due tomorrow which means that if they're on schedule in the offices then it should be around uh here within uh a few weeks I should be getting that refund so I'll be okay with uh, rent and everything but it was scaring me there for a little bit <laughs> it was even I think it was even scaring my mom a little bit because she was always like if you need any money please let me know like it'll be like a loan you'll pay it back but I know that you just need to make it through <laughs> the school year and then you'll uh, be graduated and have a job so it'll be good. <laughs> and even Douglas's uh, family was like, oh, 
Yeah, if you need something, please, like, say something. Again, it's a, it's a loan, but I wouldn't let them just pay for it anyways. Like, I wouldn't let anybody just pay for it. I hate when people buy things for me. Not hate, I guess, but it's like... I don't know. Like, gifts, I guess, are different. But I just don't want to... You know, am I just crazy? Okay, let's see what the... This company has in terms of job offers right now. One, and it's right back to where we just were. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me look at the world map. Is there any other businesses around us? Oh, yeah. Let's go to this place. Um, there's also a bush now. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of stuff around here. But this one's just, like, right across the street, I think. This way. Home store. Hmm, this guy looks like Home Depot. No, just me. Where do I go in? Oh, down here. Hmm, Home Depot. What you got for me, Home Store? Mm, routes that are too long. Okay, let me actually check the job market, I guess. Uh, I'm looking for one that's a little bit shorter. Not that short. We could probably do that one. Or one of these. I don't think we've been up here yet. This one isn't too bad either, and it's 5,000 more. Yeah, and these are all the really long ones. I think this is the cheapest, or the least expensive short one. Alright, let's... Ooh. I bonked. We are going to need to do a rest stop, but I think I want to get the load first. Just so it doesn't, like, expire while I'm at the rest stop. Because that would be really unfortunate. Because <laughs> I think this would be a good job. Yeah, um, if anybody has any game suggestions, I think I still have a two-hour time slot open on Wednesday. And <laughs> I don't know what to fill it with. Um, if it gets to, like, Tuesday and I don't know, and um, then I'll probably sh just shuffle some things around or, like, just play a, a, a different, not a different game. One of the games that's already scheduled, play it again or something like that. But, uh, I used to be really good about, like, my schedules from 12 to 4, um, but I don't know right now because, like, all last week I was doing 1 to 3 to study, so it was, like, and even last week I think I had to ask because I wasn't sure what to, like, cut up my time with, but, like... It makes me laugh because I'm like, how did I make a schedule from 12 to 4? Like, that's five more hours of gameplay. Hydrate. Um, my waters are empty, but uh, I'm, I, still I still have a little bit of coffee left, so. I'll drink some of that. You know, maybe help my headaches some more. 
Hannah, I don't know if you heard, and I don't know if you're still here yet, but, um, I applied for graduation today, and I dropped my other class that I was taking. You got Prime? Has that always been there? Why do I feel like I haven't seen Prime before on your thing? Did you just connect it or something? Am I just tripping? Uh, no. S what? Speeding? Uh, no. Hey, Toast. Welcome. You've had Prime this whole time? It's so weird. I feel like it usually shuffles between... That third badge of yours always shuffles between, uh... Did you change your the color of your name? I definitely feel like it didn't used to be yellow. Maybe that's what's tripping me out. You're always speeding in this... You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you're correct. <laughs> well, the, the, the speeds are just so low. I don't have Prime, but I did change my color. Okay. What do you mean you don't have Prime? You do too have Prime. That little blue crown next to your name is a Prime. Which means that you get a free sub to any channel on Twitch. I do see that you changed your color. though. I knew it was something, but you do have Prime. It's there. I see it. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is a really little truck. I don't remember it being this little. And then I was like, oh, yeah, it's a double trailer. <laughs> Oops. Uh, next rest stop in two hours and 25 minutes. How's everybody's morning been? Or day? It's been good? Been okay? Been better? Been great? You sleep good? Everybody sleep good? Everybody did some self-care today? Either a shower or even just putting on some lip balm. Or... Um... Maybe you need to put lotion on your elbows. Elbow lotion is important. If you're anything like me, my left elbow is always super dry. For no reason. I just woke up. Okay, did you sleep good? Had a long night. Oh. But dang, your day has not been so bad. That's good. I'm glad. Yeah, we were at that campfire until, like, 1.30. We didn't stay <laughs> burning stuff until that late. But we, um, we went and played the Wii <laughs> in Doug's parents' basement. Or lower level. We went and played uh, the Wii. So that was fun. You gonna let me go? No. Well, what if I just go anyways? Is there a rest stop along this route? I hope so. I slept like four hours, but I have enough energy. That's good. And I know people function at different hours, too. I think my prime sleep hour is like... I usually get like eight hours, but I think my prime is like... Probably seven or seven and a half, maybe. Like, that makes me feel the most awake. Um, if I get much more than eight, then I, uh... Then I just feel tired, like, all day. I need nine. I think Doug only needs, like, six. Um. He does sleep a little bit longer than that, though, but... He's good to function off of only, like, six hours of sleep, so... 
I'm going slow AF right now. This is so pretty! Y'all seeing what I'm seeing right now? I mean, I get mean when I get under seven. Yeah, I go a little bonkers. Either when I get too much or too little. Well, when I get too little sleep, I'm still, like, super tired. So I think I'm, like... I don't talk as much when I'm really tired. Or tired from not sleeping enough. I get really, like... I think I go a little crazy if it's been... If I get a little bit too much ti too much sleep tired. Um... You know? And then, like, if I've been up all day and I'm tired, then I also get a little bonkers. But, you know, it's fine. You cannot sleep a whole night or two even, and I'm fine. Yeah. A lot of people are, like, some people are so, they barely need any sleep to function, and function well, too. Like, I'm also one of those people that you can't wake up because I'll either yell at you or cry. If I get woken up in my sleep, I just get angry. Unless it's, like, in the morning or whatever, and Douglas is like, oh, I'm... I'm going downstairs. Like, if I wake up in the middle of the night from one of our housemates, either, like, stomping up and down the stairs or, like, slamming their door closed, or if it, um, or if our neighbors are being loud and obnoxious, then, then I'll be angry when I wake up. And that is the only thing that has been waking me up lately besides... In the in the morning when Doug was like, oh, I gotta use the bathroom and I'm just gonna stay downstairs. Like, that's not bad. But when I get woken up, like, at least once a week, <laughs> in the middle, the dead middle of night, because, uh, somebody's stomping up and down the stairs or being loud at our neighbor's house doing the same freaking thing, then I mean... At that point, you just, you're asking for me to knock you out, like. It is not that hard to be considerate to people that you live with. Or live next to. You. To not be loud at freaking three in the morning. <laughs> like, come on. It's not that difficult. Drives me a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Because I know that Doug would probably never wake me up like that unless he's just telling me he's getting up. But like... He's never, like, loud if he either comes to bed after I do or any of that. Like, he's never loud with it, so it's just, like, if he doesn't wake me up and he's literally walking into the room that I'm asleep in, then everybody else can also be quiet. <laughs> like, come on. That's one of my pet peeves. Can't wait for Douglas and I to have a house, and then, um... You don't even have to worry about neighbors. I know that's a while away still because, like, we are still, like, our next step after this place is a condo, probably. Um, either that we just rent out of or Doug's parents buy and then we, like, rent from them. Um, it'll either be something like that or it might be another apartment, but... We, uh, definitely, um, 
probably won't be in a house until we're both graduated. Obviously, I'm graduating here in the spring, but um, I know Douglas probably has a good three. I think he we're estimating about three years if he continues to stay full time, maybe three and a half. His schedule's a little iffy because, like, he's a transient student at a community college right now, which means, like, your main, you're taking classes through a community college, but you're still enrolled at the main university. So it's like, a, you know what a transfer student is? Like, you go from one university fully to another university. A transient student is, like, you're doing both at the same time. Which is what he is doing. Um, until he can't. How many years has he already done? Has he already done? It's kind of iffy with that as well because, like... So he went to a branch campus and apparently they completely screwed him over with one class that he needed. And it was Physics 1. So he literally had to take, like... <laughs> I think it ended up being, like, a two-year gap year or two year gap, or a year and a semester gap or something like that. So it like completely screwed up his schedule. So I think class wise, he's done like, maybe a year right now. I know last semester was pretty hard for him because he was, um, that last semester was his first semester back. He, I think he was scheduled for Maybe only three classes, but it might have been four, but he only ended up fully following through with two of them. Like, he dropped two of them. The other one, he's not sure if he passed. And I, the other one is more frustrating because he doesn't... I don't think he needed the other class. My sound keeps randomly going off. Oh, that's weird. Oh, no, that sucks. It really does. But, like, <laughs> I'm really hoping it's easier, but he's running out of classes he can take at the community college because, like... He wants to take as many as he can at the community college because it's cheaper, too. So not only <laughs> is it a little easier at the community college, but it's also cheaper. But, um, like, they don't have any engineering there. And he's going for electrical and computer engineering. So, like... Um... It's, like... <sighs> He can take, like, the his main class, like, he could take physics one and two, because those are offered, like, some of his math classes he can take there, like, um, like, general chemistry he can take there, and then I think he can take almost all of his gen eds there as well, but I think he only has, like, maybe one semester after this one, if he doesn't drop any classes, he, like, has, like, one semester left of at that, you at the transient community college. Um, but then, see, at OSU, he's kind of got to deal with, so he never officially got transferred to main campus because he kind of stopped when he was at the branch campus. Um... And that's where it got a little funky. But he's technically a transient student at OSU. But transient at the branch campus? So, like, he said that he, because he took so long. Like, they were still paying the enrollment fee or whatever without being in any classes. But he said that one of his advisors said that he might have to, like, fully reapply to OSU or something like that to get be able to actually schedule back into classes or he's gonna have to do something weird to get into main campus um because the branch campus is usually if you go to a branch campus you have to take one two three full semesters i think three or four semesters worth of classes there before you can transfer to main campus um but, obviously, he hasn't done that because he had those gap semesters or whatever. So, I think if he reapplies, he has to, like, fully reapply to main campus. Because usually there's just a 
a form you fill out that's like, I'd like to transfer to main campus. And I'm like, great, okay, you've been transferred to main campus. But, like, if he has to, con like, if he has to go to the branch campus, that branch campus is was 40 minutes from his parents' house. And we're another 30 minutes south from his parents' house. So, like, <laughs> it's gonna be, like, an hour and 20 minute drive to get to that branch campus. He's like, I'm not doing that. So... <laughs> And I'm like, no, you shouldn't do that. And I don't even think they have that major at the branch campus. Like, the engineering majors at the branch campuses aren't as thorough as the engineering majors at the main campus. Because obviously they don't have as many resources. But that's usually why you transfer out of it. But his situation's kind of a mess. And it'll all work out. We'll figure it out. It'll be fine. It will be fine. College is so stressful. I agree. Well, at least when you've been having as much trouble as he has. Like, his college experience has been awful. His OSU experience and my OSU experience are night and day. Like, when he was telling me all the issues he's had, like, with his advisor, with getting classes scheduled, and I'm like... I've never had that issue. I haven't even heard of anybody else having that issue. And I'm like, that branch campus completely fucked you. <laughs> like, we go to the same university, but branch to main is apparently night and day. Like, at least in possible experiences, because I don't think one of our other friends kind of had that experience. I think they got a little bit of it, but not like, not like the issues that Doug has had. Which is unfortunate. Like, I don't want him to have all these troubles with class because it's just school. Like, he wants to get his engineering degree. <laughs> like, it's not like he's not trying to get it. He wants to, but everything is just being so weird and sucky about it. <laughs> I don't want it to be stressful and difficult for him just to schedule classes. Like, that's been his main thing. It's not the actual classes he's in. Like, if uh, he, if, a, if he's not doing great in a class, he's fine with dropping it, and he's not heard about it. He's like, whatever, I'll, I'll drop it. I'd rather, if I'm going to fail it, then I want to drop it, you know? <laughs> like, I don't want to deal with... I don't... If I'm going to have to retake it in the future, then I'll retake it. But I don't want it to be, like, a fail in, in the grade book. And, like... I'm like, you know, I guess that does make sense. Like, if you think you can do better on it in the future, you can only use grade forgiveness a few times, you know? I think there's, like, a cap on, like, th three classes you can use grade forgiveness. Which is, like, it'll completely take over your old grade. But you can only use grade forgiveness, like, three times. So if you, but if you drop the class, it's, it doesn't count, because it's like you didn't take it. Um, you may not get a refund depending on when you drop it, but, like, that's the thing, is, like, you may have to pay for it again, but at least it's not affecting your GPA, because after those three, you can retake a class, but both of those grades will be in your gradebook. So if you fail the class once, that F, the, like, 0, <laughs> 0.0 GPA, is still in your gradebook. Like, you have a five, like, if you, say if you failed physics, you have a five credit hour, 0, 0.0 in if you don't use grade forgiveness, which is hella hard to get rid of. It would take another five credit hour class with an A to get that to just be a 2.0. So, like, if you don't need to use grade forgiveness, then don't. <laughs> like, that's just, that's just it. That would make me, <laughs> whoop, that would make me not finish college. Honestly, I'd get too annoyed. I think that's where he's struggling, too. It's because, like, he absolutely wants to do it. But he, he's just been having so many struggles with it. His motivation is low to do anything for it. Which sucks. <laughs> like, he should only be, we're in the same grade level, I guess is what you call it. But, like. 
Uh oh. You know what's crazy about that happening? That's not even the most damage I've ever had. <laughs> I'm only at 30% damage. I've gotten to like 90% before. Woman moment. <laughs> It's also super shitty because it's not really his fault. They fucked him over and now he has to fix it. Exactly. And they're not great at trying- or ch They're not great at trying to help fix it either. Like... Like, I don't... Like, main campus is so different. I email my advisor in my major, and they answer me within a day. If I need to schedule an appointment, they have a whole website. A whole website dedicated to just scheduling appointments with your specific advisor. It tells you all the times they're open, and then bam. You schedule it. You can say in person or online, like, <laughs> and then you schedule it right there. You don't even have to email them and ask them. Be like, oh, I'd like to schedule an appointment with you. Here's my availability, blah, 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 things like that. I think branch campus, they don't have anything like that. It's the same university, but the branch campuses don't have that. You have to email an advisor if you want to talk to them. They only have one advisor for the entire College of Engineering on the branch, on the branch campus. So it's not even curated to your major, because to get in your major, I think you... Because the branch campuses don't kind of have that thing. You have to, <laughs> like, go to them, and then they have to talk to uh, somebody actually in your... They have to go talk to the main campus <laughs> advisor about it, and then they have to get back to you. And it's just like... <sighs> well, it sucks that he even got into a branch campus, you know? Like, he should have gotten to main campus. He did well in school. Not amazing, but he did well. He was very involved. He was a scout. He was, he did football. He did wrestling. Like, he was in this, their STEM program at their school, which is kind of like a whole different school specifically for STEM. Like, <laughs> he did all of that. But because he's a white male going, he says, he says it's because he's a white male going into engineering that he didn't get accepted into main campus. And he lives kind of close. Like, he's within a half hour. So they're like, oh, yeah, he can just go to, to, to branch campus. Whatever. <laughs> we can't get that room and board from him because he's in the radius. So let's just send him to the brand cam branch campus because he's close to that one, too. <laughs> Which is kind of bonkers, but I think there is truth to that. <laughs> but part of me is also like, I'm actually kind of glad he got into a branch campus. Because if he got into main campus, you know, when he was living in the dorms, he might have met so many more people. Like, I might have never met him. If he went to main campus, because I'm assuming he would have made new friends, new friend groups, and maybe wouldn't really talk to the friends that we continue to hang out with, his friends from high school. Like, I'm sure they would have continued to hang out, but he would have whole other friend groups to, you know, hang out with. Maybe they, he would have a different girlfriend, you know, like... I mean, everything happens for a reason. I... It sucks that even though he was at branch camp, like, he could have gone to branch campus and his OSU experience still been perfect, you know? Like, he could have gotten into that class. He could still be taking classes. He could be main campus right now in his major, like, two years to graduate instead of one. Because I think he's uh, about one, one year behind me just because he would be doing a double major. Because, um, like, in electrical and computer engineering, 
like ECE electrical computer engineering is one like it's a branch of major but you pick a focus so you pick either electrical engineering or computer engineering like and then you pick a focus and you do one of those but I, he's always wanted to do a double major before it was like mechanical and CSE but he because he wants to do hardware and software but then they made the electrical and computer engineering which is perfect because that's hardware and software and it would only add like doing that double major because they're already in the same college or whatever would add like maybe like if i look at the classes right now so these are all of the classes that he has to take all the ones with lines are the ones that are both classes like they're in both majors so as you can see this whole side is both majors this little slip right here of classes is the only ones that are specific for each major. So, like, the classes that are specific for each major maybe adds two semesters. And that's to get both degrees. So, like, it's an extra year to get a double major. Which is exactly what he wants to do. It just sucks that it's taken this long. Like, he went to school fall of 2019. This year would be his final year if he was on the four-year track. But he still has, like, three, maybe even four years to go, which sucks. <laughs> it more sucks because Douglas said we can't get married until we both have jobs and are financially stable, which means that it's going to be at least another four years before he even thinks about proposing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, but there is truth to that, too. Um, and it makes sense. Do I want to marry Douglas? Yes, but we do also both want to make sure that we're, as a couple, you know, financially stable enough to have a wedding, you know? Like, financial stability is important. It's so frustrating, but it's cool that he's still going through with it. Right. Well, and he may even, I know he wants to get a degree, but I know he, um, his sister has, his sister's old boss is, has a coding um, company where they work on apps and stuff. And it's a whole new coding language. And it's like a rarer coding language. Um, and he is learning slash has learned a lot of that coding language. And they said that he can get an internship with them. Also, he has a job now. Right. And I mean... The radon job isn't, like, a permanent job, but he did also say that he was going to do, like, this coming semester. We scheduled his classes yesterday. He has 15 credit hours right now. But he has, uh, what his plan is to do school, do the internship if it goes through with his sister's old boss, like, through the university. So he can actually get the internship experience. And, um, if that, not that, not if it doesn't work out, but if it doesn't, um, bruh. but if it doesn't, or like days when he doesn't have, uh, the internship or whatever, or like if there's just days off, he's still going to work with Radon, you know, cause they're always looking for people at the Radon place to work. And he's like, well, I'm already trained. So I can help them whenever I have time. So, like, why would I not do that? And I'm like, you're right, you're right. <laughs> why would you not do that? Especially if you have the time. The internship sounds so cool. I think it is. Wheels of skill. 18 wheels of skill. Alright. What time is it? Oh, it's 1 o'clock. That's exactly when we're supposed to end ATS today. Perfect timing. Alright, if you're watching the VOD, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, catch a live on twitch.tv slash alicat324. Thank you for <laughs> listening to our jazz today. If you're interested in GoPuff, please check it out in the description. We only got like four days left. Um, by the time this video is posted, um... I'm going to try to get it posted as soon as possible because I don't even think that's by the weekend, which is usually when I upload. But we don't have much time left, so if you're interested, please check it out and thank you for watching. Bye!